Hi everyone, I'm Chris LeBeau with Decoding Cocktails. Our goal is to make happy hour feel easier at home so that when you're ready for a drink that it feels easier and you understand the ingredients you're working with. Today we're going to focus on a drink that a number of people said I should just leave alone. We're going to be working on the Long Island iced tea. So I don't know about you, but this is a drink I certainly think about from college days or just other days of misadventures. And while I don't necessarily ever remember being a big Long Island guy, I remember just the drink. It's like, okay, we're ready to really tie one on. Let's get some Long Island iced teas. And so, you know, in my little world of discovery, it suddenly came to mind, like, what all really goes into a Long Island? I've honestly never made one before. And so I dug in and this is almost always the case in my explorations. I found that like, if you actually want to take the drink seriously, it follows a lot of standard templates. It's not actually a super boozy drink. In that college bar you went to, it's very possible they might have really boozed it up, but it in part actually just has that aura about it. At the end of the day, a traditional highball cocktail often has two, two and a half, three ounces of booze, uh, a little bit of citrus, and then some club soda, some uh, some tonic water, maybe uh, a cola or other soda in it. So that's the way you can make a rum and coke, a gin and tonic, um, a paloma, etc. Kind of roughly that template. So it's interesting when you dig into the Long Island iced tea, it's two and a half ounces of booze, an ounce of lemon juice, uh, and then three, four ounces of Coca-Cola or whatever cola product you have on hand. So immediately we get rid of the sweet and sour mix because a lot of times that's adding artificial preservatives and frankly just not great flavor. And instead we're getting our citrus from the lemon juice and obviously we're getting the sweetness a little bit from our cola as well as you're going to be getting some from an orange liqueur that is often put into the drink. Uh, it could be a Cointreau or a Grand Marnier. So with that, uh, we are going to dive into that. So this drink can call on a very wide berth of spirits. But in this case, some people also recommend if you don't have all of them, no big deal. You can always sub one out. So traditionally, if you really want to go all in on this drink, a lot of people will say the drink calls for vodka, calls for some white rum, calls for some silver tequila, calls for some gin, and calls for an orange liqueur. Now the first step in having a better cocktail is better ingredients. So at that college bar you were at, it's very likely they were serving it with garbage ingredients. So if you have a decent rum, uh, if you have good gin, if you have a good vodka or tequila on hand, this is gonna be the first step in having a better Long Island. The second step they say is, hey, uh, if you are don't have all these things, no big deal, maybe just take one out. So in this case, because vodka tends to be a more neutral flavored spirit, I'm gonna go ahead in this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So the half ounce of vodka that I would have used, I'm gonna go ahead and just double something else. Because cola is often paired with rum, my plan is to use an ounce of my white rum, a half ounce of tequila, a half ounce of this gin, and a half ounce of my orange liqueur. So that will all be poured into my highball glass along with an ounce of lemon juice uh, and then topped with cola. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. You're first gonna start by adding ice to your highball glass. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and add an ounce of my white rum to the cocktail. I'll then add a half ounce of my tequila. I'll then go ahead and add a half ounce of my gin and a half ounce of my orange liqueur. Again, a Cointreau, a Grand Marnier. In this case, I'm using Pierre Ferrand Curacao. Finally, an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Go ahead and mix all those ingredients together and then top it with three to four ounces of cola and stir gently. Garnishing with a lemon if you've got it on hand and maybe a straw. So cheers, how about that to the Long Island? And you know what? Maybe not my favorite drink ever, but I gotta tell you, 
honestly, uh, not bad. So there you have it, the Rebirth Long Island Iced Tea. Happy cocktailing, everybody.